Welcome back to LMS Farm and in this video we will reveal to you how much crude protein does Azola have based on the laboratory testing we've done. So make sure to watch until the end of this video. It is very important to explore on raw materials of feeds that are available in your area for sustainability because we do not know what's going to happen the next day. If we will solely rely to the feeds that we can buy, we will be doomed. So good thing you are watching this video. Let's all aim for sustainability because if we are growing our own food and we have raw materials to feed our animals, then we don't have to worry about survival. We will surely thrive. This video is all about the nutrient content of our own grown Azola. I know you've seen or watched a lot of vlogs about feeding Azola to your livestock. But have you ever think of how much root protein does it have? Because it is also important to know the crude protein content as it is vital in the growth of your chickens and of the other livestock. Also in egg production, chickens need to consume high crude protein for them to lay eggs. If you will check the uh, nutrient content of your feeds, you can check the small paper attached to the sack. You will see there that the crude protein is the highest nutrient content that it has. It's around like 18%. So we have to make sure that uh, the raw materials that we are using or our own um, produce feed should also have at least 18% of crude protein. Nutrient content of Azola differs depending on the fertilizer they consume. In our farm, we use carabao manure, the dried one, to grow our Azola. Always use what you have in your environment because if you will use something you don't have, then you will still be doomed. It will not be sustainable. Since we have a lot of carabaos here in our barangay, so that's the fertilizer we use. We can just get it anywhere around our area and we just have to dry it because fresh manure are strong. So uh, Azola will just die. They uh, Azola actually don't like uh, direct sunlight, fresh manure, and they are quite sensitive. So you also have to do trial and error for you to fully understand or for us to excel in growing Azola. Last September 2023, guys, we went to Visaya State University to test our Azola. Good thing that they have a food testing laboratory. Mm. The university is just two hours away from our farm and their price is a lot cheaper than the laboratories in Manila. So we don't have to travel there to know our the nutrient content of our Azola. So it was such a privilege for us. So we brought four different raw materials such as fresh and dried Azola, rice bran, and sapal or grated coconut pulp. So if you are planning to test yours, bring at least 150 grams per sample. When we check it on Google, guys, the Azola nutrient content here. So I've searched it on Google and it says here that the dry weight basis of Azola, it has 25 to 35% of protein content. And let's check another um, data. Here it says that the dry matter basis, so the dried one, has 
21.4 crude protein. By the way guys, we want to share the data of drying the azola. We tried drying 500 grams at first and we got 50 grams when it got dried. So basically dried azola is 10% of the fresh ones. So since we needed 150 grams for the sample of testing the dried azola, we dried um, 1 kilo and 500 grams of azola in total. So we found out that it's better to feed fresh azola to your chickens than dried, the, uh, dried ones. But for storage, it is good to dry your azola if you have um, too much supply of azola then you can dry the excess one and store it for later because there are times of the year that azola are not growing well one factor is the weather so it's good to be storing azola as well so hang in there guys later we will reveal to you the result of our lab test so make sure to finish this video Another trivia about Azola guys, they are a good fertilizer also for your garden because of its um, nitrogen content. So going back to our research guys in Google, um, it says here that Azola's carbohydrate and oil content is very low. That's why we also brought rice bran and uh, grated coconut pulp. Uh, together with the azola because we want to check also their crude protein and other nutrients because as much as we know uh, rice bran is rich in carbohydrates and grated coconut pulp has a healthy fat that are all essential for the growth of our livestock so after months of waiting guys we finally got the results so here is the result of our own grown azola and we found out that the protein content or the crude protein content of our dried azola is at 22% in average while our fresh azola is around 14% um, in average. And it would be nice if you will have your azola or own grown azola tested also and please comment down below your result so we can compare with us and let us know if what is the fertilizer that you are using in growing your azola and to farmers who haven't started their azola farming yet start now for sustainability by the way guys they are uh, the family working for us and we treat them as business partners and also extended family. Thank <laughs> you.